Hey everybody, thank you for tuning in to yet another episode with William Wallace for America. I'm with John Schroeder, our Louisiana State Treasurer again, and we're gonna, I'm gonna let him answer in just a second about why you see bars in the back. It's an interesting uh -huh. story. But it surprises me to find out how many people aren't in the know when it comes to what resources are available and out there to help people and businesses. And without using all the cliches about how money makes the world go around, and important and how important free enterprise is, I think it's important to note that it's good to know about what resources are out there to help us in times of a down economy. And it's also good to know that there are agencies and elected officials that are passionate about public service and helping us. And here to help us about two of the programs that we have is John Schroeder, our Louisiana State Treasurer. And I'm gonna save the best one for last. We have two of them. But I want him to explain to us about these two ways to help people in the state today. John, thank you so much for coming on today. I appreciate you're welcome, you. You're welcome. Where, real quick, where are we with the bars in the back? You're actually live from the vault. Uh, this was built in 1932. And uh, they actually used to have bonds and cash in here. So when I, when I became state treasurer, uh, I created this little mini museum yeah. that, that you can see. This, this is the vault. We, we have books and documents and old bonds that, that are almost 100 years old. So um, people actually come and tour it. I actually, this, we're sitting in our conference room. Um, I have the history of all the treasures. So we just- I'll this, take a picture and post that later. Yeah, this was the supply room, believe it or not. And I said- And this, is Huey Long's box in here? Yeah. The, <laughs> There's the Roosevelt Hotel, there, right? <laughs> There's some rumors about all that, but I mean, it really, uh, I thought it was, would be neat to do, and so this is our conference room. A lot of talk about this room and, you know, in the vault, and somebody, somebody in the media said, is he in jail? Uh, no, this is what a vault used to look like the vault, when they, the vault, when they the vault, protected your money. At your state capitol, this is the vault where they used to keep your money. Yeah. So, John, so let's talk about first about, uh, I know there's two things we're going to talk about real quick. Um, on ways to help people, but let's first talk about unclaimed money. Right. Um, how can people get it? Um, a lot of people don't know about this. It surprises me how many people don't know about this. How can people get that money? Well, luckily, people are learning. Um, as I crisscross the state, more and more people are hearing about this unclaimed property. You know, we've gone from doing 30,000 uh, claims a year. For my first two years, we've done over 200,000 claims each year. Wow. I mean, that's a pretty significant jump from 30,000 to 200. And we've gone from doing, returning $25 million to my first full year was 58 million. This year was 68 million. So Amazing. we're doing fantastic. Uh, one of the reasons that we're pushing a Constitution Amendment is because we're running out of money. We don't have enough money to pay our claims right now. And the Constitutional Amendment will protect that money for yes. future. For, for, yes, it will protect the principal. But, but people, uh, there's about 900 million on paper that is owned to citizens and owners across the state of Louisiana. Very easy to do though. Just go to latreasury.com, click on uh, unclaimed property, and it's very simple. You just Punch in your name, punch in your your business, which a lot of people don't think about. Well, that's what I was going to ask you about. about. Both people and businesses it's, are available look, for this. It's not only just people; it's businesses, it's churches, it's nonprofits. There's nine hundred million dollars that belong to people, and we get new money in every year. So if you check it now, uh, check it again. I tell everybody, just get in the habit oh. of ch checking it to end up, uh, at the beginning of each year. I'm glad you brought that up because a lot of people said, "Oh, I checked it already. I don't yeah. have any money." So how long did you check it? They said, yeah. "Oh, I checked it last year." Well, if you checked it, you could check it every year. No. You never know. You might no, get you're right. a Christmas bonus. My, my mother, when I first became treasurer, when I learned about this, the ins and outs of the program, we checked everybody. And my son had some, but I don't think anybody else did. This year, my mother had some money. I don't remember where it came from. It was a lot, like like sixty three dollars or something. But could be a little, could be a lot. You yeah, never but it, was, it wasn't there when um, when I became treasurer. But I check it. I check. But that's I, I've, I've checked it before too. Well, that's one way that be, that people could be helped right now in this economy. The yeah. second way that I think is the most important right now, and it's going to expire soon. So I want you to talk about the Main Street program, how people can get it. So the Main Street Recovery Grant Program was a, a program created by the legislature in June uh, in, in the last session. And uh, it basically sets aside money from the CARES Act federal program 
to uh, help small businesses get grants up to $15,000. Now this program will run through the end of November, roughly around Thanksgiving time. So we're not but 37 days into it right now. It's pretty easy to apply. Um, we've sort of streamlined it. There were some obstacles early on because a lot of confusion about who's, who's can apply, who can't, if I, if I receive prior funding from PPP or SBA, a lot of those timelines are done. The first 21 days was set aside for businesses who hadn't received any aid. Well, that ended towards the end of August. So now everybody's on the, on the same playing field. There is a $40 million set aside for minority women and veteran owned businesses. That's actually going very well. Wow, we, that's a, a huge we've, help. We've almost hit that mark. I think we're about 32, 33 million dollars right now. So we're gonna, we're gonna surpass that easily. Um, but so not only does that money help those individuals with the business, but it helps communities. It helps, it helps, you know, not only that the community helps the people in that community, generates jobs. It really helps us out a whole lot. Well, it, it, it's a Band-Aid and I, and I tell people, Yes, it is a Band-Aid, but some aid is better than no aid right now. I right. mean, business has been shut down across this state. I saw many of them yesterday. $15,000 would go a long way, and you have to qualify for it now. Right. It's not like you just, if I'm in business, you get $15,000. Right. You, you have to have submitted your taxes in either 2018 or 2019. You have to be in good standing with the Secretary of State. Those two things kick out a lot of people. Yeah. A lot of people. Right. Um, and if you receive prior aid, then you have to disclose that because you can't double dip. Some people aren't really telling the truth right. on that issue and, and we're catching it and, and having to disqualify people. So like just because you receive federal aid doesn't disqualify you, you just have to offset it. So if you received um, $50,000 in PPP and SBA money, then your expenses, your business expenses, have to exceed that amount of money. And if and, and you can get up to fifteen thousand um, dollars if you exceed that those expenses. So you said it came from the CARES Act. It was a federal government program. They gave it to the state, and now the state treasurer's office gets the gets the opportunity to to yep. hand it out and give it to people who qualify. Um, where does somebody? What, what's the website again where people can go to apply? Sure, it's LA Treasury. Um, I'm sorry. There's two ways. You can go to latreasury.com, which is the treasury website, okay. or the best way to do it is go to louisianamainstreet.com. And the whole, we have a whole website designed just for the application process. We have a call center that operates Monday through Friday from 8 to 8. Um, so there's a lot of support there for you. You can hire your CPA to do it for you. The CPA, we, we just changed that recently where the CPA can actually do the claim for you on your behalf. We've also um, increased the, um, what we call the quick relief where you can either itemize and put all your invoices, which has been a challenge. The technology yeah. has been a challenge for some people. I've heard from some people though, it does, you don't have to have be a PhD to do it. Right. It just have to have a little, take a little time to do it. Yeah. But it's very easy, anybody can do this. But thanks to thanks to people that work as hard as you do for the people of the state, you know, you're out there promoting it too. I mean, you talk about the unclaimed money, but you're out there promoting Main Street program a lot too. I want to thank you very much for doing that. No, you're and talking about crisscrossing the roads, but but you can you can now all you have to do is download your taxes. Yeah. So we've made it very easy. Um, but if you're still struggling with it, you can you can go seek professional help, and they can assist you in doing that. I love that. All right, everybody. So you've got it. We've got two ways of help. Our state treasurer, John Schroeder, has talked about it. It's easy to do. Please share this video with other people that might need to be able to use that assistance and benefit from it. And uh, watch it again because it has some really valuable information. And again, enjoy that view in the back of where your money used to be in the state capitol. Thank you very much. John, thank you very much. Appreciate your time. Thank you.